Okay, so it's time to get those two softwares. So we need VS Code and we also need Node. So Node is a runtime environment. So it basically it's an environment where you can run your code and you also need VS Code where you will type your code, right? So what we will do is first we'll let's download Node here. So we'll say Node.js download and you can go to the official website where you can get this set up and it's always better to get it from the official website Okay, now we, you can see we have two different versions. We can go for LTS, which is long-term support. We can also go for the current one. Now, the only drawback of current one is there might be some bugs and the version which you are using here might not be getting the long-term support. Uh, so it's good for development purpose. It's good for your own machine, but if you want to use it for the production, uh, don't use that. So here we will be using this LTS version. So let's download the Windows one because this is a Windows machine. Now, if you're using Mac or Linux based on that, you can select your versions. For Windows as well, you can go for 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, this is a 64-bit machine, so I'll be going for 64. Now, it might take some time to download. So by the time it gets downloaded, we also need one more software, which is the VS Code. So I will search for VS Code and again, official website, let's go there. Now, based on your system, it will automatically detect your OS versions. So since we are working on Windows, you can select that. If it is not selecting by default, then you have to choose. But then we know it's Windows, so let's download this stable version. Click on that and you can download the stable one. Okay, so if I go to my downloads, you can see we have both the software install, or both the software downloaded. It's time to install them. And we'll let's start with Node.js. So even before installing Node.js, let me just verify from my command prompt. If do, do I have Node.js here? So I will say Node version. You can see we don't find anything. So what I will do here is I will go back to my node and downloads. I will install node now. So as I mentioned, node is a runtime environment. So if you don't have it, you can't run JavaScript on your machine. So we'll say next. You don't have a choice, right? You have to accept the uh, agreement. Okay, click on next, install, not difficult step. You just have to say next, next, next. Okay, done. So you can see node.js got installed. Click on finish. Now, how do you verify if it is working? So again, we'll open command prompt and in this we'll type node version typo there. Node version, you can see we got the node version installed. So we are going for node 14 because it's a LTS version. You can also go for the current one, which should work. Let me just go also install VS code. So I will double click here. Again, steps are not difficult. You just have to say, I accept the agreement, say next, next, next. Uh, do I want a desktop icon? Yes, click next, install. It might take some time. Okay, when you open VS Code for the first time, there's not a screen you will see. What you will see here is a, a welcome page because earlier also I did that and I removed the welcome page. And then you will get an option of opening a folder. So what we'll be doing here is we'll open our desktop and on this desktop, let's create a folder and let's name that folder as JavaScript. So we'll put all our Java files here. Okay, so we got a folder. Let's open that folder. So we'll say open folder and we'll navigate to desktop and let's select JS folder, click on select folder. Okay, so you got a folder, right? Now where you will write a code. So on the left hand side, you will see this is a place where you will have all the files. This is a place, a center page where you can type your code. And if you want to see the output, you can arrange that on the right hand side or at the bottom, that's your choice. But since we want to have a bigger vertical space, we can have an output on the right hand side. Okay, but as of now, I just want to create a simple file because I just want to print hello world. The way you can do that is by creating a new file and we'll name this file as first.js. To do that, you just have to click this uh, file plus button and it will give you a file. And this is where you will write your first code. So we'll say console.log and in bracket, you say, hello world, that's it. So once you like this code, where do we run this? So basically we'll run this on a terminal. In fact, you can also do that on the command prompt, which we did earlier in the last video. This time what we'll do is we'll click on this terminal and say new terminal. Imagine this as a command prompt, but this is actually a PowerShell. So what we will do here is we'll say node. We'll also check, do we have node available here? Okay, node is available here. So what I will do is I will say node and you have to mention the file name, which is first.js. So node space your file name and you will get the output as hello world. It's that simple, right? Let's say you have already learned Java, C, C++, any of the language, you can see an option of run button, right? What if you want to run that with a button here? 
So VS Code is actually a very awesome IDE which provides you so many things. It's not like a normal notepad where you just try to type a code. It provides you everything. You can write a code, you can run your code, you can debug your code, you can add extensions which will help you in the coding, debugging and all the aspects. So you can see on the left hand side, if you come here, there is option of extensions. So here we'll search for code runner. This will help you to run your code. There are tons of extensions available to, to make it work. You can just install code runner, click on install and done. Close this and you can see we will get this simple button which is play button here. And let's run this. How do you run this? So go back here and click on run. But this time it will go into output uh, tab, not on the terminal tab. And in the output, you can see we got hello world. And every time you make a change now, so let's say I just want to add two exclamation mark there. You just have to click on this play button. You will get the output. And you can also get this screen on the right hand side. So we can simply say right click and you can say move panel to right. And now you can have this output on the right hand side so that you will get a bigger space for the code. So that's it from this video where we have installed VS Code and Node.js. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye. Thank you.